Happy 4th of July, everyone. And to celebrate, I thought it'd be kind of fun to count down the best American themed roller coasters out there. And while there aren't a ton out there, there still are a few that are definitely worth mentioning. So let's get right into the countdown. Number 8 Great American Scream Machine, Six Flags Great Adventure. I never rode this coaster while it was operating, and it's not operating anymore. But it's a huge coaster from Aerodynamics. It's one of their Mega Looper models, and in some ways it was sad to see it go because of how much of a cool ride it was, but ultimately it got mixed reviews. I doubt it was the smoothest ride out there, and it was probably a good move to replace it with the stand-up coaster, Green Lantern. And that's why Great American Scream Machine comes in at last place on this list. Number 7. American Eagle, Six Flags Great America. From one major Six Flags park to another, American Eagle is an interesting ride. This wood coaster has had an unsure future for what seems like forever now. Will it get armed seed? Will it get new trains? Will it be retracked? Who knows? From what I've heard, the ride has a bunch of airtime hills, some of them giving airtime, but the helix in the middle of the ride is not great, and it's very rough. If you catch it on the right day, it also races, but I'm not sure if they duel it consistently anymore. One thing's for sure, it's a classic wooden coaster, I'm just not sure it's a very good one. But again, I haven't ridden it, so until I get out to Six Flags Great America, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. Number 6, Patriot, California's Great America. This is the one coaster on this list I've actually ridden. The ride to me is mostly meh. I don't dislike it, but I'm not running to it when the park opens either. I think Patriot serves its purpose just fine, and it's a classic B&M coaster from the early 90s. But in my review, I gave it a 5 out of 10 score, and I still think that's a pretty good score. It's not great, but it's not terrible either, and it is pretty enjoyable. And you can still enjoy it since the ride is pretty smooth. This was one of my first inverting coasters, so I do have some fond memories of it. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this ride when Great America closes. Will it get relocated, will the trains be used for something else, or will it just be scrapped? And to that, I have no idea. But as it stands right now, it's a pretty decent looping coaster. Number 5. Revolution, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Speaking of classic looping coasters, this is a classic. This coaster is the first modern day coaster to feature a vertical loop. The ride's main element is that vertical loop, but other than that, it's a pretty tame terrain coaster. This seems to be a perfect first inverting coaster for kids, because while it has that one inversion, the rest of the ride isn't intense at all. Revolution is a historic ride, that's still going strong to this day. Number 4. Great American Scream Machine, Six Flags Over Georgia. For whatever reason, this list is dominated by Six Flags parks. And it's also been dominated by classic coasters. And here's another one, this time a Woody. The L-shaped layout is pretty much just airtime hill after airtime hill after airtime hill. However, from what I've heard, this ride is very rough. It's been operating for a long time, so that makes sense, and maybe the ride has enough airtime to make up for it. Again, I haven't ridden it so I'm not sure. But you can see it's bouncy from this POV. With all that being said though, it has a unique setting at Six Flags Over Georgia, and I think it's definitely worth checking out when you're at the park. Because who doesn't love giving a classic Woody a try? Number 3. Patriot, Worlds of Fun. This is not a historic coaster but it looks like a good ride nonetheless. It's kind of weird to think that Cedar Fair would actually invest a B&M invert in this park because of how long it's been neglected, from an adding coasters perspective. But Patriot looks like a great invert. It gets its inversions out of the way for the most part right at the beginning, and then the ride finishes outside of a corkscrew with a bunch of twists and turns and even an airtime hill, which is really strange for an inverted coaster. For me personally, I always love a good B&M invert and this looks like a unique one. I doubt that this one would be as intense as some of the other inverts out there that B&M has done, but overall, it still looks very solid. Number 2. American Thunder, Six Flags St. Louis. 
it's really weird that Six Flags St. Louis and Worlds of Fun have coasters in the top three, just because of how neglected these parks have been recently. But back to American Thunder. This seems like one of GCI's better coasters. It's a twister layout with plenty of airtime moments and laterals. I don't think it would be the best coaster on the planet or anything, but a solid GCI twister coaster is always a good time. Assuming this one is smooth at least, which I think it is. Gold Striker is a rough ride as I mentioned in my review for it, so hopefully American Thunder does not fall under the same category. If I had made this video when this coaster opened, it would not have made the list. It originally opened as Evil Knievel, but it dropped that theme in favor of the American one, which I actually prefer. And look at that, it comes in at number 2 on this list. Number 1. American Dryer Looping, Indiana Beach. This coaster isn't even open yet, but I think it deserves a number 1 spot. The footage you're seeing here is from its first home in Mexico. This is where the coaster operated as Chimera. The ride, unfortunately, is known for a horrible accident that it had that closed down the ride and eventually the park. But I have full faith in Indiana Beach for making this ride completely safe. There are just so many more safety measures and protocols taken here in the States in comparison to where it was operating in Mexico. I really hope the ride operates without trouble, and I think it will. But why does American Dryer Looping claim the top spot? Well, from reports, this is one of the world's most intense roller coasters. And you've seen from the footage how absolutely fast it flies through the layout. It almost doesn't even look possible how quickly it goes through its maneuvers. When it opens up soon, this will probably be Indiana Beach's best coaster, and I think it's going to be the best American themed roller coaster out there. Assuming you like intensity, that is, because this ride will be intense. But that's going to do it for the best American-themed coasters out there. And happy birthday, America. You don't look too bad for being over 240 years old. <laughs>